Hello, hello, what's up everybody? It is great to be back as usual, Steen. What's up in the chat? I hope you're all having a fantastic day or night or whatever it is for you. We're back after some severe internet issues yesterday. Uh, I was very excited to, be, to play Don't Knock Twice. It's kind of like an indie horror game. I was ready to delve into it, um, but unfortunately we got clapped. By the evil internet. <laughs> the evil service providers. Uh, but, regardless of that, we are back today, and we look to be relatively stable. So, we're we'll trying to get a good long stream in today. We're going to be finishing up our second run of Wolfenstein The New Order. This run, we're doing a Fergus timeline. Um, I think we're about mm, a third of the way through the game. It's on uber difficulty. We are maxing out on the difficulty level uh so i'm excited to continue it it's been a blast so far hanging out with you guys and gals and uh yeah let's let's go ahead and jump right into the game Kill us some more Nancys. Some more pigs. <laughs> oh, it has been a great week for me. Minus the internet issues. You know, those things really make you feel pretty helpless. But, besides that, I've had a fairly productive week. It's been, it's been a good time. I've been enjoying revisiting this game with you guys. Uh, we're we're going to go ahead and just resume this with our buddy, BJ Blaskowitz. The one and only. Oh yes, we just made it to the base for the second time. We've completed the suicide run from our buddy. Um... And we've stolen the helicopters, the pivotal helicopters. I found some interesting leads. This parchment describes um, a way to create a type of super concrete. This is what the Nazis have used to build all these concrete monstrosities around here. It is, it is. Everything, even this place. This is the only concrete they used. This is how they created all those, those cities so quickly. Uh, now Anya. that we know where it comes from. She's such I a wonderful a lady. For closer study. Can you look around here for a piece of exposed concrete that shows an outbreak of mold? It should I sure be can. porous enough for you to cut me a sample. Whatever you need. Also, there was this encrypted list of Dad Yishut members in Poland during the war. I need to compare it with the official German state records on Jewish citizens in the years between 1939 and 1945. Can you see if those records are in the archives room? I sure can. Those sound like they might be in the archives room. There's uh, one more thing. Um, it's quite critical. Oh. Oh. Chat, they love each other. That'll be all. We can go now. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. All right. So. This, I really want to talk to this girl again. She's a new aspect of this game in the Fergus timeline that isn't present uh, during the last timeline. There's actually a completely different character depending on who you end up killing. Um, our buddy's gone. Our buddy, what's his name? Our two quests right now are go to the archive and search for moldy concrete. Uh, we, know, we know how to get to both of these, but we're going to look around here for any other side quests before we directly continue these quests there is some gold we can find as well on this specific mission and a health upgrade so we're gonna really try and uh explore every inch of this area trying to find both of those yeah, here's the archives it's behind this locked door uh which now obviously we need to find the key so what are you laughing at tecla you need keys 
She's so much saltier than, than the other guy. I did. He had keys. Why, thank you. She's a fountain of information, though. Which is good. Wow, these are very well animated, uh... <laughs> Look. <laughs> very well animated utensils on a pen and a paper. They look like they're literally ingrained in the wood. That's interesting. We haven't been back here yet, which is kind of annoying. We're gonna have to do that at some point, but I don't think we—I don't think we can until it's unlocked. All right, let's go check out her room one more time. Oh, victory in Asia, nice. We should have read all these already. We, we have read them all, but it's not, obviously we read them in the last playthrough, so these are showing as unread. <clears throat> and that's about the London resistance and all that. Regime crosses the Atlantic. Vancouver, June, January 3rd, 1947. Earlier this week, a German submarine was sunk in the Cobbett Strait, the Cabot Strait. Just a few miles off the coast of Cape North. Today, hundreds of ships crossed the Atlantic and the first German troops set foot upon Canadian soil. Now it is time to be brave. And the Prime Minister in the emergency radio broadcast, It's now or never! Our boys at the front line need your support to defend our homeland. To defend our freedom. Uh, but yeah, so... This game um, is the one right before uh, New Colossus, which is coming out soon. And New Colossus takes place once the entire world has been invaded by the Germans. And this is kind of hinting at uh, that is already beginning to take place. Pretty interesting. Interesting stuff. We already found this guy's letter in the last playthrough we did. Alright. So I'm going to find some gold and a health upgrade. Still can't get back to here. Uh, we should have done that when we had the chance, but we didn't because we knew we could... Uh... What is that? Mole spores coming from the van. Ah, that means it's gonna be Where's down here. Intake? Let's go have a nightmare real quick first, though. Huh, that glowed like it was. Ah, should we talk to Fergus? We better have our dramatic moment with Fergus. Yeah, we we, we should go do that. I wonder if it's even possible to jump back here. Oh, I think we can get the health upgrade at this bed again. Maybe we can get one each, uh... Each time we come back. That'd be cool. Yeah, we can. Cool, nice. Health upgrade found. So that's something we weren't doing last time. We need to be coming up here every, every end of every mission that we come back here, we need to go sleep. All right, let's go talk to Fergus. He's gonna be pretty upset, I'm guessing. I need the keys to the archives. Ooh, he has the same scarring that uh, Wyatt had. Hang on. Fuck! 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 You okay, Fergus? I'm getting old, Blazkowicz. He's gonna be mad at us for killing Wyatt, I'm guessing. We'll be all right. We can still get the job done. Hey, for how much longer? What's this about, Fergus? Nothing. Everything. It's about that boy, goddammit. Private Wyatt. He should be here instead of me. He was young. He, he had potential. He could have given us a future. You and me were two fucking mummies from the past. Running on nothing but willpower. I made the wrong choice. Well, that's fucking obvious, isn't it? I was ready to die. I would have done So they it both last. say it. They both said that we made the wrong to choice. That boy Blaskowitz, and you fucking piss it away on a whim. Remember Prendergast? That fucking kid, he could endure anything. Now he's gone. They're all fucking gone. And you're stuck with this useless fucking skeleton. I mean, tell me, what's a long-term solution, eh? Who's gonna take over when we're too damn battered to strap on the horses anymore? <laughs> Give us the key, Fergus. Get the fuck out. I need a nap. They blow they both blow up in my face there for saving the other one, depending on who we save. 
It's really sad and quite realistic. I mean, that that is what would happen, honestly. All right, let's go. Let's go up here and see if we can have another nightmare before we head out to find the moldy spores and the stuff from the archives. I feel like maybe the treasure is in here. I don't know though. I just don't know. Ooh, bullseye. Right in the middle of that picture frame. Let's try and throw a bunch on there. Maybe to get an achievement for doing it or something. <laughs> uh, we are basically the supervillain bullseye. Okay. Oh, someone's rebuilding one of those mechs up here. That's kind of interesting. All right. We still can't get in here. That's not until the escape scene. Definitely gonna be able to sleep again. I'm thinking maybe the treasure is actually sleeping up here. Like, if we beat it, we find it. That's possible. Alright, let's do it. Let's take a nap, chat. Everyone, bring your pillows out. It's time to go to sleep. Whew, I'm actually a bit tired. It's been a long day. Alright. Get our dual handguns out. These are easier to address, um... It's really shitty that they shoot you as soon as they see you. Like, if you don't immediately hit them with a bullet, you get... However, you can bait them through these doors like this, and as soon as they walk around the corner, just murder them. One more, I think. We did actually get hit by a bullet there, which is unfortunate. So there's nothing over in this direction except more enemies. Um, I believe the assault rifle's in this next room. Okay. Definitely need to make sure we're trying to keep our ammo up, because, uh... It'd be really unfortunate if we don't. Oh yeah, the assault rifle's in here. Go and overcharge on health. Never really checked to see if this is a secret door as well. It is not. Officially not a secret door. The damn guy got me with one of his bullets. Alright, so last time we went left. I believe left is the only way to go, actually. A bit of a waste of ammo there, but we got more. I want to have as much uh, armor as possible because it'll help us tank more shots. It's a good tactic we've kind of found is to open those doors and immediately run because they usually usually miss their first couple shots. And then we can bait them to just start walking forward and then they can't shoot us as they're walking forward. We lost way too much health doing that. There should be one more in here, maybe? No, that looks like it's all. Alright, we can get a little more armor here. Uh, I was hoping we could fill back up on health, but it doesn't look like it. 
I should look for a secret door behind this Hitler poster. Hey, there we go. Nice. You also gotta watch out for enemies because sometimes they are hidden in these places. Oh, more more armor and assault rifle ammo. That's really good, actually. We're gonna start using our assault rifle here, I think. Took one hit from that guy. Should be it though. So it takes four assault rifle hits to kill these guys. Um, less if you hit them in the head. One more coming. And more if you hit them in the, the periphery. I think we went this way last time, so let's try going straight. Actually, I think it's five shots. I'm maxed out on handgun ammo, which is good. Ah, yes, I remember going in here. I think we actually died right here last time. Took one shot there, not awful. Alright, here is the exit. This is where we need to find, I think, the key? Oh no, we don't. Okay, so this actually might be how we beat the level. Nice. So I think we might have gotten actually got an achievement there, hopefully. I don't think we've ever beaten that one. Oh, no achievement. Damn it. Okay, so now when we go to nightmare mode, it's going to be to explore more. Exploration is key. Huh. Our weapon now comes out when we run. That's strange. All right. I believe we're going to go try and... Oh. I thought we, I thought we just fell down. Let's try and flush the toilet again. Maybe we'll get treasure. Well, that seems to be in order. Whew. All right, he's not going to want to talk to us. Max Haas, probably also not going to want to talk to us right now. But he'll probably be downstairs in the... Uh... Oh, that's pretty. It actually works if we click it. That's funny. Oh, these are those toys we can collect, although it looks like we can't grab this one. Alright, real quick, I'm going to go grab some water. Gotta quench my thirst. I'll be right back. Sorry to take a break so early in the stream, but I just want to go ahead and grab a glass so that I can have it on me um, moving forward. So yeah, be right back. Alright, got my delightful glass of water. Cheers. Hey, hey, I'm in here, promise. <laughs> I believe you're in here, what do you mean? Why would you want to be, why wouldn't you be in here? Welcome back from your break. Yep, I was just grabbing a glass of water. Wanted to have it with me um, going forward. So yeah, let's continue the game. How are you today, Steen? How are you today? Where's your mug? My beautiful mug is right here. However, I don't use my beautiful mug for water. That would be scandalous. That would be trickery to the utmost degree. So we do have the key, in, key to go in here. But I, if I remember correctly, the archive things won't be in here. Actually, no, maybe they are. Oh, they are, okay. Give Anya the state records. We are, again, looking for this last collectible in here. Uh, this one right here. Don't know where it is, though. 
I wonder if we can actually get up there. Oh, it doesn't look like it. Oh, maybe we can. That'd be cool if we could get in here early. Good call. I totally would have posted on Reddit about that ish. That's right. I'm going to have to ban you. <laughs> ban you, so that's your only option. Okay. We already talked to everybody. Let's go ahead and find our... Actually, let's give this to Anya first. And then go find our mold. I really want to interact with her some somehow. Tekla is new. The last playthrough there was a guitar guy that had scarring all over his face. But this playthrough, since we're doing it with, um, with a different timeline, there's actually a totally new character, which is pretty interesting. And her room looks crazy different. This guy, the other guy collected speakers. Ban me and I'll be forced to donate. That's right. That is right! Uh, <laughs> but yeah. Um, it's actually a totally new character, like I was saying. Last time this room was filled with like guitars and stereo equipment that the guy collected that was banned in the Nazi Empire. And now it's just an empty bare room and she sits in this chair. This creepy cast iron chair and uh, studies. They were both a little delusional. But anyway, okay. Let's give this to our, our lady friend. Look for the concrete sample? I You're welcome. Some mold over there where they keep the aircraft. Yes, yes, I understand. The mold's coming right out of there. Oh, what's this? Maybe this is the symbol of the resistance? Alright, let's go to the aircrafts. All the while keeping a sharp eye out for any collectibles. So now, theoretically, I have to find where the um, tarp originated from. It's right over there in the corner. So, yeah. But we are searching through here um, while we have the chance, just to make sure we're not missing anything. Hey, Caroline. Hey, Max. Max Haas? Max Haas? Das habe ich mich auch gefragt. This is so cute. He, he, this guy treats Max as his son because his son died during the war. He actually got killed by the Nazis for having a stump leg. Actually, his wife and son were both killed. So, this is his new son. They have a very sweet relationship. Alright, let's grab the mold. Where's the mold? There's the mold. There's a batch of mold. We need a circular saw to cut a sample. Have to be some power tools nearby. We're gonna search over here in the corner just to make sure we're not missing anything again. I'm gonna cover every inch of this inch of this place. I'm guessing the collectible is gonna be down this uh, place we were about to fall down. Spoiler alert. All right, let's go ahead and grab this conveniently placed circular saw. Oh no. Max Hoss? Okay, where are we? You're in the school system now. You will find your way back here if you have a look around, yeah? Yeah. So we're right here. When I get down here, there's a bunch of drones, but we also want to try and look down this pathway because I feel like there may be some collectibles we missed. There's definitely an upgrade for this tool we're currently using right there. Oh. That thing does a lot of damage. It does like 20 damage per hit. It's really brutal. I think it's also part partly the difficulty mode. But, uh, but yeah. So it looks like we can't actually go any farther down this this tunnel. Yeah, unfortunately. So we're gonna go through here, recharge, grab that item that we want to re that we want to grab. 